adding integers using number lines from RethinkMathTeacher.com. So to begin, think about times in the real world when you see positive and negative values. For example, money and debt. If you have money, that's a positive integer. But if you owe money, it's negative. See, if you owe a debt, you actually don't have zero dollars. You have less than zero dollars. Because if you somehow acquired a dollar, you don't get to keep it or spend it on something you want. You have to use it to pay off your debt. So a positive one and a negative one combine to make zero. Another popular real-world example is sea level. Going up a mountain is a positive number. And if you go back down, that's negative. And if you were to go below sea level, you'd be in the negative integer values. The final example we'll look at is football. If you carry the ball past the line of scrimmage, that is positive yardage. But if you're tackled behind the line of scrimmage, that is negative yardage. In all these examples, you should see that a positive one and a negative one combine to make zero. So think about a number line. On the number line, you've got zero in the middle, and then as you move to the right, you get larger and larger positive numbers. And as you move to the left, you get negative numbers. We're now going to model numbers on the number line, and then we're going to model adding integers. So first, how would I show three on the number line? in relationship to zero. Well, from the zero, I would move to the right three spots, and that would give me a three value. So now we're going to model three plus two. Again, from the zero, we'd move to the right three. And from the three, we would then move two additional spots, plus two, giving us the value of five. The same is true when we add negative integers. From 0, negative 1 plus negative 4, we would move to the left 1. And from that 1, we would then move an additional 4 spaces to the left to represent our negative 4. When we did this, we would end at the negative 5 integer. So negative 1 plus negative 4 is negative 5. We've now added two numbers, or two equations, on the number line, both times the numbers in the equation had the same sign, positive and positive, or negative and negative. Here are two more problems that you should do on your own using your own number line. Now think about the four problems we've just done. What are the rules for adding integers with the same sign? You should be able to discover them based on the four questions we've done. When adding integers with the same sign, you add the values of the numbers. At the bottom of the screen, you see two examples. Both have 1 and 2, but the problem on the left, they're both negative, and the problem on the right, they're both positive. In both examples, the answer is a 3. However, the left equation is negative 3, and the right one is positive 3. This is because the second rule is that the answer keeps the sign of the sign, the integers in the problem. So the right 3 is positive because the 1 and 2 are positive, and the left is negative for the same reason. Now let's look at adding integers with opposite signs. If I had a negative 1, I'll say negative 3, I would again start at 0 and move to the left 1 to represent my negative 1. From this negative 1, I would move to the right 3 spaces to represent my adding of a positive 3. And this would put me at the positive 2 value. So negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. We're going to do another one. 3 plus negative 4. We would again move to the right 3. And from this positive 3, we're going to add a negative 4. So we're going to move to the left 4 spaces from the 3. And when we do this, we are at negative 1. So 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. Here's two more problems, both with opposite signs, that you should now model on your number line to discover the answer. Again, we're going to think about what we've just done. We've done four problems of adding integers with opposite signs on the number line, which are modeled below. Now, what are the rules when we add integers with opposite signs? You should discover 
then when you add integers with the opposite signs, you subtract the values of the numbers. So in our bottom two examples, both times we're subtracting two from one regardless of which number is positive or negative. And in both examples, the answer is one because two minus one is one. However, in the left, it's a positive one, and in the right, it's a negative one. That's because the answer will have the sign of the larger integer. The negative one is negative because the largest integer in its problem is the 2, which is also negative. And the positive one is positive because the 2 in its equation is positive. Thank you for watching Adding Integers with Number Lines from RethinkMathTeacher.com.